Welcome back to the part two of a learning list with Fosse, and I'm here with you to do the exercise number three. Choose the correct answers. Uh, so this and this exercise requires you to. They are. They gave us four choices to one and uh, four choices. That means inside it, it is four answers for each choice. Then you have to circle whether is it A or B or C or D to answer to the question 1, 2, 3, and 4. So now, question number 1. CCTV cameras record the actions of A. Is it A? 1 in 15 people in the UK. B. 4 million people. 4 million people in the UK. C. All the criminals in the UK. And D. Nearly everybody in the UK. So let's read again. Today, there are more than 4 million CCTV cameras. In Britain, that is, that is one camera for every 15 people. So, uh, it is 1 in 15 people in the UK. But that is in the text, it is written that one camera for every 15 people, not the, the CCTV cameras, not all. One record for 15 people, but not all. So, throw away. 4 million people in the UK. 4 million in the pe people in the UK, no. No. Because today there are more than 4 million. 4 million CCTV cameras in Britain, not 4 million people in the UK, so, no. All the criminals in the UK, mm, all the criminals in the UK, no, maybe not, because it also records for something else. Uh, and But it has to be D, is it D? Nearly everybody in the UK, and that is correct. Why? What is the evidence to prove my answer is correct? Look at the line number 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8. 8. The line number 8. They watch almost of us. Almost of us. Means us here means the UK. So nearly everybody in the UK. So it is CCTV cameras record the actions of nearly everybody in the UK. 1. We'll go with D. Okay. 1D. What is for number 2? Number 2. What is that? Number 2. When you use a mobile phone, the company knows A. Is it A, the name of a person you are phoning to? B. What are you saying? What you are saying? C. How long you have had the phone? D. Where you are? Okay. So that's free. So that is finished. We, we, we have finished the first paragraph. So paragraph, second paragraph. Cameras are not the only way for monitoring our actions. Every time you use your mobile phone. Okay, carefully read. Every time you use your mobile phone, your phone company knows the number of, your, of the phone you are calling. Okay? You are calling and how long... The call lasts. Is it, it is even possible to work out your location? Yes. So when you are calling, they the mobile phones may know your first, your the person who are phoning to, b the number of the phone you are calling to, three how long the calls last. And D, where you are phoning. So, it is D. When you are using, when you use a mobile phone, the company knows where you are. It is even possible to work out your location. So, where you are means D. D again, correct. Let's read what is question number three. The author of the text thinks that the government's aim might use Google Earth to help solve crimes. 
be might be watching all of us from the space. C might record all of us from our phone calls. D might record all of the websites we visit. So okay, so we have finished the paragraph number two. Let's go to number three. And what about the satellites? Are they watching us from space? How much can they see? Anybody with a computer can download the Google Earth and get a satellite photos and the entire world. Perhaps. Okay. Governments are using even more powerful satellites to watch their citizens. Yes. So. Three. The author of the text thinks that the government B is the correct answer. Might be watching all of us from the space because it's right written over there. Perhaps the government are using even more powerful satellites to watch their citizens. So three will go with C. Three C. Okay, so let's go to the paragraph, the last paragraph. Uh, but first, we have to read the number four. When you surf the internet, cookies, is it A, record your every letter you, that you type, B, record your passwords and emails, C, send information to your computer, or D, send information to websites? Let's read. Even when you are at home, you are not necessarily safe from surveillance. When you use a computer to visit websites, you are probably sending and receiving cookies without realizing it. Cookies. Read. Transfer information from your computer to the website. So transfer the computer from the information from your computer to the website. So it is the sentence D. When you serve the internet, cookies. Send information to the website. D. So the answer will be 1D, 2D, 3C, and 4D. Oh, what a day of these. Okay, so the exercise number 3 uh, has leads us to an end of learning this. What will say episode number 73. Uh, thank you so much for watching our lesson for tonight watching our tonight's lesson and um and I hope to see you guys back next week at the 7 30 p.m. on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Um remember to review one C and prepare for the next week's lesson it is the unit 1D. 1D grammar verb patterns. What is it about? We'll find out next week at 7.30 p.m. on our Facebook page and our YouTube channel. Remember to like our Facebook page at the link Learn English with Fuse and also subscribe us on the YouTube channel Learn English with Fuse. Okay, see you next week. Goodbye and good night. Bye!